So when we started developing uh, compounds, I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, sell a machine to go along with the compounds. I reached out to the leading supplier of detailing polishing machines in the US and asked them if we could become a distributor because I thought it'd be great if we could sell a machine. After a bit of backwards and forwards, they basically said that they didn't want us to be a distributor or a reseller of their products. And, that, uh, and the reason was that they didn't want to be too closely associated with coating companies. More recently, with the development of the A50 compound and with redeveloping our other compounds, I thought it would still be really good to sell a machine to go along with these compounds. I thought the best way to start would be to spec something that's pretty simple. With the tool manufacturer that we found, we could pretty much make any machine that we wanted to, but there were uh, cost factors with certain things. So what we decided was to use a sort of a generic shell, but then spec the highest quality motor that we could and all the other mechanical parts. For example, the bearings are, are Japanese NSK, the best bearings that we could spec. The motor is uh, Taiwanese made. Uh, the cord is, is a very nice silicon elastic type cord. So we really, we tried to make the best machine that we could without really going too far with the customization of the shell and the design of it. Just see if we could sort of test the market. So that's what we've come up. We're calling it the uh, Fine Mac. So the first one that we're going to be launching is the FineMac uh, 21 uh, HP, which stands for uh, high power because the motor uh, in this is almost twice as powerful as the leading competitors. So if you look at the machine, it comes with a 29 feet extension cord. So you're able to basically uh, plug it in at a wall outlet and move all the way around the car without any additional leads. The bearings, you can feel the smoothness of that backing plate is thanks to those Japanese NSK uh, bearings. The machine is, like I said, we kept it pretty basic. So it's all black. And what we probably will do in the future if this machine turns out to be successful is we'll do our own design. We might change a few things, but for now it's all the energy went into focusing on making sure that the internals of the machine are the best that we could spec. The machine comes with an 1100 watt motor. Now that's almost twice as much as the leading competitor. And what that means for the user is when you're polishing panels and especially if they have complex shapes in them, your pad is likely to stall out uh, if you don't have enough power. So with an 1100 watt motor, we're making sure that the pad doesn't stall out and it keeps rotating. Ultimately what that means is it's gonna reduce your compounding time on a car. And that's the whole point of this machine in conjunction with our A50 and the A-series compounds. It's all about efficiency, saving time, getting the job done as quick as possible, and getting the best finish possible efficiently and effectively. So we've had some of these machines out in the field for about six months in some pretty high demand shops to test the durability to see if they could break it. And the feedback that we've had so far has been perfect. They, they haven't been able to break the machines. They're pretty happy with them. So we felt confident to release them. So. Give the machine a try, I'm sure you'll like it, and uh, until next time, see ya.